official Batman Arkham Knight, the voices of Arkham, guest starring Batman. <laughs> What's happening, Magnus Sice? Let's get this in. exactly what I'm up against. This part of the Love trilogy the is a much more psychological challenge for Batman. He's being ripped apart and he's fighting for his identity. For me as an actor, it was a blast to get to flex those muscles. Where's Scarecrow? Go to hell! <laughs> Where is he? Talk! Or I'll crush every bone in your body. <laughs> The only people left on the streets are the sort that enjoy the chaos. Scum. Criminals. And worse. Commissioner Gordon is both a father, a friend, and obviously someone who is trying to save his city. It took just 24 hours for us to lose control of the city. I remember him. Tonight, Gotham's before. relying on one man to save us all. Gordon has monumental respect for the Bat. They're tight, they're friends, and they're dedicated and loyal to each other. Do you really think Scarecrow's crazy enough to detonate a chemical weapon in Gotham? I won't let that happen, Jim. Gotham, this is your only warning. One more time, because I'll let the word out. Yes. <laughs> the man's a psychopath, seriously, but he's also brilliant. He's actually quite a reasonable man in the way he talks, but he's obviously very disturbed. This demonstration used just five ounces of my latest toxin. Tomorrow will seem like child's play. Yeah. It's been an interesting character to approach it because good. I don't sort of get to use one of the, the, the monster voices that you sometimes get to use in, in games. So we've got to sort of get that incredible eeriness of the voice without overdoing it. All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. In this particular game, he draws together all the other villains that we've met over the last 75 years and brings them into one place to finally try and bring Batman down. If one desire is not to kill Batman, but to humiliate him, to reduce him to, to ashes. In death, he has nothing left to fear. Your vengeance will come. What Scarecrow works out is that if he can make Batman feel fear, then he will upon the day, because then he will expose him to the world as a fraud. Oracle, I need the location of Unit 247. Already working on it. This is not the first game that Barbara Gordon has been in. You've heard her voice in the past, but this is actually the first game where you get to see her. I also get to play Oracle, and it's when Barbara's in a wheelchair, and you get to see just more of her kind of intellect come out and see how she's she able to kind of drive that in behind the scenes. Oracle, check the chemical analysis I've just uploaded. Hmm, it's gonna take a little while longer. Drop by the clock tower when you're ready, and I'll show you what I've got so far. How's my dad doing? He's holding up. Somehow, he always does. The relationship between Barbara Gordon and Commissioner Gordon, it's a loving relationship, but it's secretive. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. She kind of withholds a bit of information because he would never want his daughter involved with what Batman's doing because it's so dangerous. So, you know, I think she keeps her secrets from him to protect him from worrying about her. Sorry, I've got to go. Stay safe, Barbara. The biggest surprise about the game is that this is the first time that you actually get to drive the Batmobile. You know, in all the other games, they get to be the Bat, but in this one, you actually get to drive this vehicle, and that's something that they the haven't bat. done before, so I think they'll have a lot of fun with that. Horrible. I need to track that military vehicle. A squad car has picked up the pursuit. I'm laying its location now. The Batmobile is such an awesome car. It's the most beautiful I've seen it. Go, Oscar 5-6. This is Commissioner Gordon. I'm calling off the pursuit. It's too near. 
you know, you're in the Batmobile, you're in the chases, it's great. Perhaps the main reason I wanted to play Scarecrow is because I hope he might get to drive the Batmobile, and no one does that. Wouldn't that be so cool for to say? I was the character of the Oh, shit. I'm not saying it's happening, but that would be a great thing to do. <laughs> We're trying to make this absolutely great. Just seeing the landscape of Gotham, seeing what some of these characters are, I went, dude, look at that. I mean, it's impressive. Visually, it's astonishing. It's always exciting to be at the cutting edge of things, and I just feel like this game is really at the cutting edge. Definitely looks like it. It's astounding. It's a beautiful, beautiful world that they created. It's just very, very complex, and I, uh, I did not expect that. Batman. Arkham Knight. Get yours, June 23rd, 2015. Hey, Mr. J! Yo, Kevin Conroy looks just like the Joker in Arkham Knight. I think they patterned him after him. I think it's kind of interesting. It's kind of like, he's the voice of Batman, but he looks like his greatest foe. I think that's interesting. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this little featurette skit on Batman Arkham Knight. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, I'll break every bone in your body. One million subscribers. Woo!